just weeks, records will be set at Iowa State University for the fourth fall in a row, prompting a critical question. If we exceeded the forecast, what might we want to do? What to do with all the students wanting to live on campus? We typically house somewhere in the neighborhood of 92, 93 percent of all incoming freshmen. Yeah, last fall we opened up with 9,976. Uh, right now we're on track to open at around 10,400. More than 10,000 students will live on campus. Department of Residence Director Pete Englin says they have 10,170 permanent residence quarters available and they have more than 400 interim spaces ready for students. The uh, offers of admission and acceptances were higher this year than was forecasted and so we went through the same process, talked with our student leaders and actually converted um, Wilson Hall to double occupancy for this coming fall. The same thing they did with Wallace Hall in previous years. They are also in the process of converting several den spaces into housing. Uh, the students in the den are going to get a nice experience. There's a lot of um, square footage in those locations. They'll have new furniture. Uh, they'll have all the services that the regular residents have. I mean, that's the intent. Make them feel that they belong. They're part of the community. All of these changes and the need for more space are constantly on the mind of England and his staff. Having the, an idea of what our total capacity is and then what the future class sizes look like, we do a lot of modeling uh, on return rates, on capture rates of new students. Uh, we look at it by gender, whether international students, out of state. If we continue to have the kinds of classes we've had the, first, uh, the last couple of years, uh, the, the reality is we're going to run right to the edge on our capacity. And so we've explored what kind of off-campus options might be available, whether we do some additional building. There's lots of different um, avenues that you can employ. You have to think about what's Iowa State about, and really it's a welcoming, caring place. We pay attention to students as individuals. Uh, we want to serve them well. We're much more than a bed for a head, much more than that. It's about helping students transition successfully. And that means making room for everyone. Saying no to students has not been Iowa State's um, history. I can't recall ever telling a student that there wouldn't be place here for them on campus. But that included, you know, they used the basement of Hilton Coliseum at one point. So instead, the Department of Residence works hard to provide the best possible experience for each student. We see it as a tremendous opportunity and responsibility to give them that great first semester, first year. Uh, where they choose to live is, is up to them. But from that point forward, I mean, we really want them to, to, to know that Iowa State is a, the place for them and they have all the resources and connections necessary so that they're going to be successful moving forward. We really emphasize that this is their home. And by doing so, they try to keep up with the students' needs, which include numerous upgrades. Changing out furniture in all of our student rooms. and, and uh, It costs about $2,000 for each student to give a fully lofted, uh, wardrobe, dresser. So that's just what they did, investing more than 1.3 million dollars on furniture. We realized if we bought sets for all the dens, for people that we anticipated being there, we could, when we don't need dens, move that and completely uh, refurnish uh, Oak Elm Hall or Linden Hall. Um, we can, we can uh, rededicate it, reallocate it, so that seemed to be a very smart um, investment. But that investment isn't it. Throughout the summer, it's not that we're um, idle. We're doing millions of dollars in projects, uh, life safety improvements. We've got two buildings we're putting sprinkler building, uh, sprinklers in, uh, large halls getting all brand new windows. We're trying to make those sustainable upgrades too that provide greater comfort. Greater comfort they hope will pay off for the students. On-campus students get higher grades, they're involved in leadership activities, they're more likely to persist, they express higher levels of satisfaction as being an Iowa State student. They're more involved in learning communities. And those are just some of the reasons why Adam Christian, uh, a freshman in aerospace engineering, so is looking to forward to living in the residence halls. Uh, so the student life, I want to get involved in that. So it's a great way of living in the residence halls. We really talk about it as being an experience, not a room or not a bed. It really is about being on campus, being connected to your fellow students, uh, being in, involved in your learning and, uh, and having a great time. If I lived at home, I wouldn't have the other kids, you know, to share my experiences with and things like that and to, to study with. Besides getting to meet many new friends, he says there are many other perks to living on campus. I'm so close to everything and I get the uh, student life and the student um, activity and also I have all the amenities. I don't have to cook my own food. I get to, you know, live with a friend. And for the students starting out in dens, they will likely be moved into regular rooms after the first semester 
when hundreds of students graduate, find internships, or study abroad. There's going to be plenty of space to accommodate those students that are here in Dens, any new contracts we get, and give our current residents some chances to move around. England says welcoming a full house isn't something new. Enrollment has been growing in Iowa State for the past six years. It has taken a great deal of preparation and planning from a dedicated team and a little creativity, and he's sure move-in will go smoothly come fall. We were prepared. We were ready for this.